Traditional owners and First Nations people working on country are the stewards of the land on which restoration at Ranger is taking place. Our team's role is to protect the Alligator Rivers region, which includes Kakadu National Park, from the potential effects of uranium mining. The space that we've, we've come to work in with artificial intelligence being applied to landscape scale problems in Australia really can't be achieved unless we have the permission from the traditional owners. It's been really great having the partnership with Microsoft. Steve has brought a lot of deep learning to the table for us. Our traditional methods for measuring the number of tree species in the landscape involve botanists going into the field and recording in quite a manual way what species were present and the stem densities. Historically, before we were just using this software called eCognition. Obviously, even in our community, in the scientific community, it was becoming apparent that AI was going to become more robust, more usable. I feel after we had the ability for Renee and Andrew and the supervising scientist branch to navigate the application of deep learning to, to new scenarios, and that's when the opportunity to work on trees was presented, and, and we set off on, on that particular journey. We see AI as part of our future environmental monitoring program. We have a need to collect highly complex data with greater spatial and temporal resolution. If we don't have deep learning algorithms, it is going to become increasingly difficult to analyse as our drones become capable of collecting larger data sets. If we don't have the power of the cloud, we won't be able to process our data in the required timeframes. Collecting training data this way means we have a gold standard training data set, one that doesn't exist anywhere else. We are now using this data to automate tree species identification and perform different model training experiments to extract as much information as possible. The future of artificial intelligence being applied to ecological or sustainability scenarios, I feel, is uh, nascent today. It's, it's growing and we're establishing those capabilities. And when we look at uh, the scenario at Ranger Mine or Kakadu National Park, we begin to see very similar restoration or rehabilitation scenarios and needs around the country, whether it's rewilding or reforesting areas or uh, looking at biodiversity been able to challenge and push us down directions that we thought weren't possible previously. So it's been a really positive experience and one that I hope continues into the future.